Hello, I'm here. I'm gonna have to, I mean, I would really have to go on the ground and go, Adrian! It's a movie, but it's Adrian, or um, in French, uh, Adrian? Adrien. Come here, come here. Adrien. And um, I'm gonna have to read this because his, uh, his brand name is Brr, like, you know, cold, but not. It's Bia, uh, Bernard Raymond, but that's your last name. Yes. Okay, so it looks like, looks like, hey, I've, I've got Jens doing zoomy things. So everything you need to know is right there. Bia, and his guitars are strange. But I have questions that I want to ask you that you can then comment on. And then uh, Adrien can see the comments and know what you think about his cool guitars. But there's also, there's also basses. So for you guys, you have to know that um, there's also basses. Done. But we're going to look at guitars. So do you have a model name for this? Yeah, this uh, model is BRE03. Very so it's like, are you working for Ibanez? What is wrong with you? Why do you? I mean, this is a beautiful piece of art. She needs a real name. Yeah, but I'm I'm really bad for finding cool names. So I Vanessa. <laughs> there you go. That's the name. What will say my wife? <laughs> <laughs> well, depends on who you love more, Vanessa or your wife. Well, who do you spend more time with? Uh, Julia. <laughs> um, so I'm going to just call her Vanessa for now, okay? Um, a very unique shape. We only have one Charlie Christian from who? SP Custom. Okay. In, um, in the uh, neck position. So this is clearly more of a round, jazzy kind of a thing. It's also a hollow body. And you can see if you really, really look, and Jens really, really zooms in, the very subtle F hole right here. So it's a semi hollow, it's got a tone block in the middle, right? Yes. Um, only one pickup, so no switch. Volume tone, we got the plug right there, which I, I always just hate. I don't know why people do that. I get it, it's a hollow, so a 335 has that too. But then my question is why the fuck does a 335 have that too? Um, put, it, put, it, put it on the sides. 2022, man, come on. Okay. I've pitched about stuff, that's what I do. The thing that really popped out for me while I walked over here is the way he's doing the strings. And is this good? Is this not smart? Because you have diagonal string pull. Of course, these um, uh, slits here are deep enough and the strings are safe, not a problem. But tonally, does that affect the guitar? You comment now, let him read it. What do you think? It's really cool because in the back, the ferrules just look different. And you know, sometimes different is just the right thing to do. We have a piece of ash here, right? Um, magnetic for the electric uh, electricity, trickities. And I'm going to assume because we're in France and Deleuve already is throwing around their freaking uh, French walnut. Um, so um, this is French walnut, right? Yeah, freaking Adrian here with his French fucking walnut. Um, we got a bolt on, like, you know, the singer, like the Michael, Michael Bolt. Mm. Um, French walnut, um, ash veneer up here, Schaller non-locking tuners. Why non-locking? I don't know. Should be locking. Should be locking. Um, <laughs> and an interesting fretboard. Oh, good. No problem. At least you noticed. Most people just walk by and they're assholes. This wasn't an asshole. Um, so, what is the fretboard material? It's Sorbus. Um, what is the fretboard material? <laughs> it's uh, Sorbus Domestica. I don't know the, the English word in French. We say well, learn fucking French and then you know what it is, okay? Sorbus, that's what it is. Clearly, it's Sorbus. In French, it's Cormier. Never heard of it, but it's got a really interesting ter uh, terracotta kind of uh, red clay. Uh, color. Then you've got one fret that's ash again, and we have to notice this beautiful inlay work. Um, and Jens rightfully said, very Japanesey 
in a way. With the silver surround, it's definitely very beautiful. I can see that you probably make and shape your fretboard with the dots already in, and then it got a little bit thinner, and then you put it on the neck because your dots are all towards the end of the fretboard, right? So you don't put them in when it's on the neck, you put them in before. I've learned things from Yoshi. I always bitch about dot positions on fretboards, something that doesn't matter in any way, but you know, yeah, that's what. Okay. I'm sorry, say that again because I'm holding the mic like an idiot. I like the dots sitting on the neck side, so. See, I mean, that, that, yeah, that's that, that's an argument. I can't argue with that. If the luthier says that's what I want, that's what I want it. Some luthiers just, you know, or some companies have the dots just willy-nilly everywhere. Um, it's a pretty stunning instrument and pretty original. And I just banged my mic on it. Um, how much is it? It's uh, 3,800. Okay. So un under four. If you're getting something handmade, ultra unique, Look, if you want to buy something like it, there's one person you can buy it from. That's it. And nobody else makes that. So please comment on what you think about this and the guitar in general, because I think it's kind of, you know, kind of cool. I don't know if, if I would rock that. I mean, it's not, you know, you don't play ACDC on this. You play Le Jazz, which I can play just a tiny little bit. But let's look at another one. If you want more pickups, wait, stay. Vanessa, stay. So, oh, solid body. We got more weight, weight here. It's heavy. Is it? I mean, after that, uh, it's not that heavy. But after the other one, everything's heavy. Um, oh, we also have to point out Jens, please. The handmade BR logo, which is just way cool. Because it's actually a relief. It's on top of it. It's not inlaid. We got shallows again. We got the neck wood, which... I'm going to see cherry, cherry, all these French people with their crazy woods. And obviously, I mean, obviously the best wood in the world, French walnut, right? French walnut. Um, this time around, we got more traditional way to have the strings, but very, very, very long behind this adjustable bridge and then going over a fret, actually. That I've never seen that. You getting that, Jens? Jens is nodding, he's hating the camera right now, and it's only video three. So that is very interesting. I'm not sure what I think about the position of the switch, but that's just me. Uh, pickups, again, from the French guy. Yes. SP Custom, too, yeah. SP Custom. Um, here we've got the French walnut inlaid in that unique shape in a slab of, what is this? Ash. It's ash, yeah. Ash. Um, fretboard, uh, it looks mahogany-ish. It's walnut. Of course it's walnut. What, what else would it be? French walnut's the best fucking wood in the world. What I'm learning here, I'm learning pretty much that French walnut's the best wood. Um, also, very unique, less specific in terms of usability. This is clearly a jazz box, just a very unique jazz box. Um, similar price range? Uh, a little bit cheaper, it's uh, 3,500. Because no hollow body, okay. Um, we got a little bit of a guitar tit there. Of course, you know, volute, but uh, who says that? Very cool. Beautiful kind of a grain happening here. Is that the headstock joint? Because I, ah, it's tough to see here. So it is a scarf joint, but very beautifully and uniquely done because it is a huge headstock. He would have had to sacrifice a huge piece of cherry and we don't want that. So, um, if you want the same awesomeness and the same design aesthetic, but you're a bass player, hey Michiel, um, then of course, we got a four string, we got a five string. How heavy is the five string? Let's see. <clears throat> I'm afraid. Oh, not, not that bad. I mean, it, that's a chunk of wood right there, but not too bad. Beautiful, something black wood on top, Delano, single coils. Ooh, that's carved with a spoon, but that's kind of very cool. Absolutely, dude, that's that headstock you could paddle with. If you're stranded on an island, you can use that as a paddle to get away because that's a 
huge headstock. Holy shit fuck. But you're looking for original? BR guitars and basses has you covered. Wow. Okay. Stay. Well, it's me from Pitot in Paris with Arion and his very inspiring, unique instruments. Uh, contact him if you're into it. Comment what you think about the string thing. I mean, he's trying something. So, you know, let's see what you think. If you are saying, I would never buy the guitar like that, he knows not to do that again. If you're saying, I don't give a shit, I want it, then he knows where to send it after you send the money. So I'll put links below. Thanks to Jens for hopefully not messing up those shots. Otherwise, this video is shit. And um, animals at the end. Cheers, yeah.